Welcome back to part six of turning our new school bus into a home. Our goal in this part is to take out the rest of the wheelchair tracks, pull up the plywood, and finally see our school bus's floor. But if you saw part five, you know these things just don't come out that easy. These tracks are held in by around 3,000 rivets and we had to individually air hammer and drill each one in. Done. After about two weeks of tediously pulling up these tracks, we were finally able to get out the subfloor. We ended up finding out a lovely surprise while pulling up the subfloor, which is that our no rust Florida bus is indeed full of rust. And that's also why it is so crucial to pull up the floor. But the tracks are out, the subfloor is up, and we are really excited for the next part of the journey. <laughs>